What's up guys? So I'm back in the shop today. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I am painting some of my older baits. I hope you like these. Uh, they are not as crazy detailed as the ones I have been doing most recent. But I've got Gavin in the shop with me today. He's going to be painting some unique baits and I'll show you guys those. Um. Anyways guys, with that, let's get to painting. As you can see here, this is basically a holographic bait. Now what I do with these, because they come with like this white, as you can see there's definite lines there. I use white uh, paint, opaque paint, and I just go over them. I don't go real thick with it though guys, to be real honest with you. Because it doesn't make much difference like I found in the past. Like I used to try and cover that up where you couldn't see a line. I don't really worry about it much anymore. So uh, as you can see, this is the bait I'm painting. I'm painting up several holographics today, but that's how I first do it. And I paint that white over them. So uh, with that, let's get to painting. So the first coat is going to be this chartreuse and uh, we're going to get to painting. Okay, so as you guys can see that's done um basically i've got chartreuse on the top and then as well on the bottom and it comes up the sides just a little way it's not a whole lot um, on both sides and then you will see the actual top coat go on so here's the next color guys it's black with a little bit of platinum i'm gonna go ahead and spray that on so here we go as you can see i got the netting pulled down around that and so now it's time to put on the top coat and this bait will be done Okay guys, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that uh, netting off and you guys will get to see it. So here we go. So there it is. That's it finished. We are gonna move on to the next one. So, uh, so you can see it's done. Here's the next bait we're gonna do. Um, it's We're gonna do basically a sexy shad. It's my version of sexy shad. It's a holographic. These are my last holographic baits. Guys, um, I don't have more of these so this is gonna be it. So that's gonna be the next color. It's kind of a gold, silver, uh, white mixed up. Um, and we're gonna spray that now. So here we go. You guys can see the belly on this is done. And, uh, gonna move on to the rest I've got the magic color here it's a color of green blue gray and uh, some silver in there I've got it all mixed up you guys will see it but we're gonna do that as a top coat so here we go yeah I got that top coat done right there it is um i just put a little bit on the tops coming down i got the net on there so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over with the final top coat and then we'll put the yellow stripe down the side and call it good that's it that's finished i got that as you can see it's kind of a grayish you guys will see it better when i get it all taken apart but uh that's it for now done i got both sides done i'm gonna go ahead and put the line right here and uh the the running line on it and we'll be done so as you can see that's the stripe it's kind of a yellowish mustard yellow it really doesn't look like that once it's done but uh that's what we're gonna put on next is the line i'll take this comb and i'll put it there at the line that way I get a good solid line on it and I'll put it all the way down. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to be it's going to be pretty near impossible for me to try do that without it messing up. And I definitely don't want to mess this up because these are going out. I got that done. It's finished. Um, now I'm just going to put the false eye on it and it will be completely done. So as you can see I got both sides done. Okay guys so there it is. I got the bait done. Um, yellow lines on both sides false eyes on there it's ready to go so on to the next one go, moving on to the next bait which is going to be that jerk bait i'm going over i'm doing like custom gizzard shad 
This is going to be the first of the top, so here we go. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've got it done. That's the very top, the first top coat. I'm going over with that. Um, and then I'm going to go over with a darker version over the top. So as you can see, I have the bait completely netted now. I'm going to do a scale pattern on the top. And uh, then we'll go back over and I'll show you what I'm going to do from there. So here we go. it goes into a lighter brown brownish color I'm gonna do black over the top to solid those scales up so you'll only see the scales on the side and uh, then I'm gonna do another line of a different color down the side of it um, and then I'll do the uh, belly now I'm gonna spray the top I'm gonna do just a coat literally just straight down the back of it so here we go <laughs> So I got a solid dark coat on the back of it and it blends down into those two colors as you can see there and uh, then we're going to have a stripe running down the side and uh, we'll do the belly color then. So what I'm going to do now is create false eyes on both sides. That's the false eye right there guys and uh, then we will uh, We'll do the other side. I'm going to do it off camera and then I'm going to do the line off camera so I can get them right because these are going out. Um, but basically I'm just going to put a thin line out that way in like a gray color. You'll see it when I'm done. I'll show you guys real quick. I'm doing this really fast just because it's quick and easy and I basically stuck a piece of tape over there so I can follow a solid line. I'm just going to trace this line with, uh, my, with my gun and uh, you guys will see the end result. So well, there it is. Um, now I'm going to go underneath that black line. As you can see that darker line. I'm going to finish that off with the yellow. And then the belly will be the last thing. And it's done. Right, so that's the final bait. That's it. Um, I, as you can see that's a yellow stripe. the black stripe. And then I've got the scale patterns with the brown. And then on top I've got the dark there. So should be a pretty cool bait. Should work really really well. Um, I've done something like this in the past. that's gonna do it for today's video as you can see those baits turned out pretty sick I know they catch fish they've caught fish over the years those are some great baits I just wanted to show you guys some of the original works you know what I mean um, I thought that would be pretty cool but with that um also guys check out these baits that Gavin did coming up with some pretty sweet stuff i've got to admit but um with that being said guys that's going to do it for today's video so if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that big red button the subscribe button give it a click subscribe to me let me know you're enjoying this stuff as well as guys if you're new to the channel hit that that bell that way you'll be notified anytime i post new content and guys if you like it give me a big thumbs up i really appreciate all of you guys so much i can't believe we're as far as we are it's amazing to me but with that being said that's going to do it for today's video so until the next adventure